Have you ever noticed your broke friends, no matter how much money they have coming in, even if they get a job where they're getting more money, they still seem to be broke all the time? What's up, my good vibe DJ crew? You know how we do here on the Don't Kill the Vibe channel. Today, I want to talk about financial responsible adults. What does that look like? Now, when I think about somebody that is financially responsible, I'm thinking about somebody that's paying off their bills, they're saving money maybe for a vacation, maybe for a rainy day fund, somebody that is frugal with their money. So instead of buying a cup of coffee every day, they are making coffee at home. When I say this, I'm saying this as a person that has also done these things. So I'm not judging. I've been there. So when I think about people that maybe aren't so good with money, some of the things that I'm initially thinking is that one, they probably have credit cards and loans, just tons of different bills that they're trying to pay off that they're struggling to pay off because they can only really make the minimal payments, which just increases their bills every month. One of the other things that I know is that when people that are usually broke finally have money, they spend it on dumb-ish, like ridiculous. Like they don't need it, but they finally have the money. So they're like, okay, we're gonna go to the most expensive restaurant tonight. <laughs> and then the last but not least thing, it's probably the thing we are most guilty of doing is we buy stuff. And when I say we buy stuff, I mean, we think we're being frugal because we go to the Dollarama to go, you know, grocery shop or buy the things that we need, but then we start getting things we don't need because, hey, it's only a couple of bucks. And then before you know it, you go in there for one thing and you come out with 20 things and you've kind of blacked out. You don't even remember all the things that you bought or why you wanted to buy them in the first place. So one of the things that I highly suggest that you consider doing, if you are somebody that seems to be going from paycheck to paycheck and not really ever being able to save any money is to consider consolidating all of your bills. So this might be a consolidation loan with your bank. This might be a line of credit. Sit down with somebody at your bank and don't get another credit card. Don't get another loan. Um, unless, you know, maybe it's a line of credit, it's got a really low interest rate, and then you take all the bills that you owe and you put it all onto this one freaking bill payment that you're gonna make every month. Because then you can not only catch up on those bills, but you're not racking up insane interest on things that you are just never gonna pay off. I know for me, I literally had to go to another bank at one point because the bank I was with, the interest was ridiculous and and sometimes you'll find this sometimes you'll find you're at a bank that's like we can't do anything for you and then you go to another bank and that bank's like we'll take your money we will totally help you out and then you end up going to another bank thing that i would say instead of falling into the mistake of hey i finally have money now i'm going to just spend it on dumb things that aren't really adding value to my life make it a reward system so for example you know, maybe part of that reward system is I want to save this amount of money. And once I save that amount of money, I can spend this much money on something that I'd really like. So in doing that, say for example, uh, there's like a really nice uh, restaurant you love to go to, but you can't afford to go to, and you're saving up for a rainy day fund. And once you save like 500 bucks, then you're gonna allow yourself to spend $30 at this restaurant and maybe you're very frugal and you're like me and you're on Groupon waiting to see the next deals coming up so that you can get like 50% off. So when you use it as a reward system, it's a lot more rewarding and you have that rainy day fun just in case as opposed to getting that money in and then spending it on things you don't really need. Uh, another thing that I would consider is that reinvesting your money in things that can become assets, things that you can make money off of as opposed to liabilities like a car. Think about how you might be able to maybe invest that money back into your business. So if you work a nine to five job, but you're also 
you know, have a passion like DJing or producing music, maybe you want to take some of that money and invest it into a nice logo, a nice website, uh, a workshop, something where, you know, you're building education, something where you're making your brand look more professional. So maybe you are more likely to get more DJ gigs. Maybe you're putting some of that money into advertising on Facebook, you know, targeting the demographic. There are ways that you can take your money and make it work for you, but you got to be smart about it and do your homework. So the reason why I really wanted to focus on being financially responsible uh, is for one, I have not been financially responsible in the past. And when I think about all the money that I spent on stuff, um, whether it was like traveling to another city for a DJ gig and then spending money on things I did not need, like new funky clothing, because hey, It's on sale. So if it's on sale, then at least I'm getting a good deal. No, 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 honey. You're still spending money on stuff you don't need. So if you're going to buy stuff that you don't need and it's going to be a reward, make sure you're first saving some rainy day money or vacay money or just being more financially responsible because there are going to be times in our life like it is right now in our life, in our family life, where there's not a lot of work going on. So you need those rainy day funds. And one like really big thing I think people should consider is that finances have so much stress on a person when they're broke, when they can't afford to buy good food. Um, even like just relationships will struggle when there's a lot of uh, you know, financial issues going on, especially if like one person is really good with money and the other person isn't good with money, there can be the struggle. So I think it's really important to try to educate yourself on this topic, try to do things to utilize the money that you are getting in and reward yourself in a way where you're not going to feel bad about spending that money. Because I don't know about all y'all, but if I'm, if I like go shopping somewhere and I'm thinking, oh yeah, I could use this, I could use that, I really like that. And then I get up to the till and I'm just like, nope, not getting that, not getting that, I don't need that. This, yes. All these other things, no. If you get to that point, you're something pretty. What do you guys want to hear about on the channel? Let me know in the comments below, or maybe you want to share your tips and tricks to being more financially responsible adults. Are you investing it in your studio? I want to know.